What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial Patreon request today from Sun over on Patreon. This is MUI Bardock. So I'm on a landscape page, pencil and eraser for these and hit pause if I go too fast for you. So we start with the frown in the middle of the face. So just that typical sort of Dragon Ball frown. It's like a W, it curves around here. You can do it curvy or flat. Right, eyebrows come out from there. So we just go here and then like a tick or a check mark, just going this way. Kind of curves at the end and then we have a flat line at the end there. And then this goes back down and it gets skinnier as we go. Okay. Same thing on the other side. So another curve, curve sort of check mark going that way. Flatten on the end. And then skinnier as we go down. Sometimes they have lines on the end here as well. It goes underneath his hair, so we can't really see it, but you could draw it in if you want it. And I'm just gonna color his eyebrows. Oh no, they're silver. I was gonna color them black. That was close. <laughs> forgot yeah MUI okay so eyes then small line long line gone diagonal and then you just curve it together slight curve like that iris in underneath pretty big like so and then pupil in there Other side, small line, big line, and then curve line, joining them together. Iris. Yeah, underneath here. Like so. So he's got like another sort of wrinkle line coming across the bottom of the nose or the frown there and then his nose just comes down like so and sort of hooks around there and then they always draw in the shadow just on the side like so his mouth then so he's like not impressed so it's normally flat and it like curves down the sides And then a bit of a shadow just on the bottom lip, like so. Cheek lines, just there. These sort of hatching lines just on his cheeks. And then his chin, so square chin. Comes across like that. And then his jaw. the side like so stopping sort of underneath the edge of his kind of eyebrow area right like underneath the eyebrows there that's where you want to change direction and go up the side of his face he has hair spikes coming down here so that's where his face sort of stops Okay, that one goes up a little bit higher. And then he has a scar just on his face. Like so. Right, so his fringe spikes, right? So he's got a headband on, but he's got like Goku style hair spikes so let's see we got like one here up and down like this 
and then this one down sort of over his eyebrow a bit and then up this way right and he's got like a single strand of hair coming down here and then the next hair spike just coming down towards the side of his face there and then some more over this side so this one will go down this way down to there and it looks like he's got one more so we'll go like so then his ears come out from underneath here right so relatively big ears as well pretty normal for Dragon Ball though and then ear lines inside so relatively simple way they do it and on this side right and then his headband comes across just his forehead here and you might have like some extra sort of fold lines for that inside and then some frowning lines coming down from there okay so then his hair so it's kind of like Goku's hair it's very similar nearly exactly the same so we go small spike out this way and then this one comes out goes up back in and then we have a bigger one here and then another one going up this way like so so you got like two clusters a cluster of hair spikes here and then cluster over this side and it's they're separated by this kind of curved line right the kind of thing goku has it too and then so we can see like a hair spike going this way and then a single strand kind of here and then another one spike in here pretty big one and then a big one over here And then a small one in between. And another one over this side. And then here. And then like a hair spike in there. And then like his headband is tied behind his head, so we can see like this ribbon sort of tied here. Right, like, like that. And that's red. It's like a single strand here as well. And then texture lines all over. So you just follow each hair spike, basically, with these kind of texture lines. I like that right we go down and do some anatomy now so he has saiyan armor on and muscles and all that kind of stuff so wide neck right so we'll go big wide neck here big wide neck here his body is actually a little bit turned away from us right so we'll go that way with the neck muscle right so the center line for his chest to be here and so his body's a little bit turned. Top of that chest goes this way. And it meets armor, right? And the chest on this side goes that way. You could have another neck muscle going here. And uh, Adam's apple. So his armor chest and strapping, right? So 
comes down from this chest muscle down around there and then it comes around this way down around this way down this one will disappear underneath his armpit here right and his chest will stick out this side around underneath down up underneath the armpit then on this side so his body comes down here body on this side it goes underneath his arm so it's like there's a bit of a gap see that and then he's got his ape tail wrapped around kind of a hairy sort of thing and you can put texture lines on this And then we need to add some details to his armor. So the strapping goes up like so and around his neck, right around the back of his neck here. And this has an edge line to it like so. Same on this side, goes up. Like that. And then we can see his trapezius muscles just going down this way. like some hatching here and then these have lines that come across and I think a bit of an edge line actually on this a little bit just going down that way like so and then underneath his arm Goes across here, down. And then we have a line in the middle. And this goes back across underneath and underneath his armpit. And then across here. Around underneath the chest. And around the top. Like so. And then we got some chest muscle lines just there. And maybe here as well. Got that armor lines down here too, so we've got like a curved area there, and then it's a double line, so you go outside like so, and then lines curving around this way. Okay, and then what do we got now? So, armor coming down there. There. Maybe some like rib lines and stuff. Right, so shoulders. Big, muscly shoulders, right? Crazy big. Curve around like that. And it kind of goes back up that way. And then we have a deltoid muscle one there and maybe another line like in there then tricep sticks out this way comes down there and we got a bicep line coming down from the shoulder goes up underneath his body there forearm comes down around and he's got like red gloves on this forearm line comes up into there. Then those red gloves just go down off my page. Just you can see the tops of them. And then we could have just some more forearm muscle lines there. Like that. And I think there's some armored lines here. Something like that anyway. And then his other shoulder, so crazy big. 
like so and then down into his armpit so your shoulder your bicep and your chest muscle all join together in your armpit so that's where they all connect to one another in here right so the bicep will come out from here as well it's kind of like turned in a bit like so and then his tricep and this comes down like so and we can see a bit of his elbow sort of sticking out on this side and then that forearm goes down and then the forearm on this side it's around there and like some more sort of forearm muscle lines and stuff like so Right, and then because he's Ultra Instinct, we'll go sort of Aura. Right, and you could have like some stuff floating away like some energy going off like that um, and if you want you know you can beat them up a bit you know you can have like some maybe some cracks in the armor dirt on his face and all that kind of stuff bardock always looks way better when he's like messed up <laughs> i think anyway you know because he's already got them scars on his face and stuff so So there we go. Bardock mastered Ultra Instinct. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.